Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I'm going to show you is how to take apart this four slice toaster. Uh, both of these actually I found on garbage day. Both of them unfortunately don't work. Uh, a lot of times actually scrappers will just drive by and they'll just cut the cord off uh, and leave everything else. Uh, I like to take everything because there are a lot of goodies inside of one of these. Um, very little of this toaster uh, could is garbage. So uh, this one actually is completely steel framed. There are transformers inside. There is some silver contacts. Okay. This one, same thing, different model, but the components are all the same. It does have a plastic uh, shell on it. Um, but the inside is metal, so I could actually take this in as is to a scrapyard and get steel price for it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you what's inside of them. Uh, I'm going to work with this one, but they both have the same components. Okay, and both of them actually, in order to get this plastic off or the cover off to get to the goodies inside, they have screws on the bottom. So you have to first remove the screws, and I've already done this on both of these just for the sake of time. Okay, so the screws come from the bottom. If I lift this up, uh, I've got to first of all make sure that I got all the screws, and I actually put my safety glasses on. There's one screw that I didn't get. It's right here. Um, I'm only doing this because one of the screws is a safety screw. Um, and I'm just going to speed up the process. Okay, so this is a steel frame. Okay, sometimes they come stainless steel, and I can get stainless steel price. Uh, but if I put a magnet to this one, it does stick. So this will be classified as steel. Okay, um, this is the inside of a toaster. You can see there's not much to it. Okay, other than this is the front. Uh, these are your switches that uh, allow the bread to go up and down. Uh, there are two transformers here. And there is actually some silver contacts right in here. So very, very quickly, actually, this video uh, is going to show you how to easily and quickly maximize your profits. So I'm going to first start by cutting the wire. I'll start with this frame, this circuit board. Okay, so this circuit board is fastened in with a couple of, of screws. Okay, this is the front plate. Okay, anytime you have knobs or buttons, you're going to get silver contacts. Okay, and I don't have to worry about uh, the plastic on here. I can take this shell in as is and get steel price. Scrap yards are not very picky on the little pieces of plastic. Okay, now this circuit board is just fastened in with screws. So I'm gonna quickly take those out. Okay, so one more screw. Okay, so this is the circuit board that has the buttons on it. Okay. Um, even the knob actually has a little bit of brass. So if I took a screwdriver, or actually I'm going to just take a pair of pliers and probably pry this off. Oh, I need a screwdriver. This is connected just by a couple little um, bolts. Okay, so this is garbage. This little piece uh, is actually uh, copper. It's going to go into my copper. It's not much, but it's uh, better than going in the landfill. Okay, this circuit board is classified as lower grade. Okay, there's not much on here. Okay, uh, there are a couple buttons. These little buttons do have a little bit of silver in them. Okay. As well, this box, if I break this box open, there should be a silver contact. So I'm gonna do that right now and show you 
what a silver contact is. Okay, so first I'm just gonna, all I did was I opened it, okay, and I'm actually just gonna pull it off there using a screwdriver. I just pull it up, get underneath it, Okay, so this box, I'm starting to open it right now. You can see the plastic starting to come off. There will be on this side a spool of copper, and there'll be some silver contacts here. So I'm just going to further break it using a hammer. And I'm going to pry the side off, because allow you to look inside of it. All right, so this little spool of copper, I will take off and I will just use a pair of pliers and cut the top off and unravel this spool. It's not a lot, but I put it in a bag and uh, I will get um, Canadian right now, it's about $1.50 a pound for number two copper. Okay, it's copper wire. Um, the valuable things are, as I said, right here. These little knobs, if I turn one of them, you can see the, where is it? There it is. The little white dots right at the top there. Those are silver, okay? So these are silver contacts. What I do is I actually just take a pair of pliers, I cut these little knobs off, these silver pieces, I put them into a little vial, and hopefully one day I will hit them with nitric acid and make a silver bouillon. So there's some silver, okay. This entire frame now is recyclable. It's going into my steel bin. The rest of this circuit board is going to go into my lower grade um, e-waste. I have a couple trays underneath that catch the um, crumbs. These are steel, okay, so these, even with the plastic on them, they're gonna go into my steel bin as is. Okay, this frame, I'm gonna leave this frame on. Um, I could smash part of it off with a hammer, but I won't. Um, I am gonna cut the cord. So this is an appliance cord. This is the cord that plugs into the wall. Uh, this kind of cord in Canada is about a dollar a pound. This isn't a pound. Um, I throw it into all of my other appliance cords. It adds up and I'll bring it in um, once I have a whole bunch. It also has on the, on the end two coated brass prongs. Some people leave these on there. Some people take them off and put them in their copper or sorry, their coated brass bucket. Um, it really matters not in terms of price. There, it works out to be about the same. Okay. There are two transformers on this toaster that I'm going to get off right now. And I actually have a video, another one, on uh, separating transformers, when to take the copper out of them, when to leave it in. Um, so go check that out if you're interested in that. Uh, I'm just gonna take it out quickly to see if it's worth for me to separate it. And what I'm gonna do when I do that is I'm gonna look if there is enough copper inside, okay? So sometimes when I look, a transformer Usually very recognizable because it is surrounded with yellow tape. Uh, steel, there's usually steel around it as well that, that holds the copper in. Um, I'm going to look inside. Now, I don't see a lot of copper in there, copper wire, which means usually these types of transformers, it's a layer of tape, a little spool of copper, a layer of tape, a little spool of copper, and keeps going. If I don't see a lot of copper in here, I will throw this into my transformer bin as is. Transformers, you get about 10 cents a pound. Okay, so I will just leave these 
in my transformers. There are wires that are connected to them. These wires are classified as lower grade uh, copper wire. There isn't a lot of copper in here, it's mostly plastic. So lower grade copper wire goes for about 20 cents a pound. Okay, so it's different than the appliance cord. Okay, there are also right here where the knobs were, another set on both sides here, another set of silver contacts. And they are just bolted in with screws. Okay, so I'm just gonna take one out. Um, I don't know if there's a bolt on the other side, but I'm hoping this is the only one. It is a larger screw. Okay, so I'm looking, it also could be connected. Oh, yes it is. There's the other screw. Try and reach down in there. Sometimes it's just hard to get at because of the wiring and the screwdriver. There we go. Just had to get it around the piece. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut the little wires that are holding it in place. Okay, and there's also a spring. So be careful, you wanna make sure you're wearing safety glasses so that you don't get uh, any type of metal or debris shooting into your eye. Okay, so I gotta make sure, there it is. Cut that spring. There we go. Okay, so what I have here is actually not a silver contact, okay? The difference between this one, you can see the dot there are actually brass, or sorry, copper. So sometimes they're actually copper, uh, sometimes they are silver, okay? So these ones are actually copper contacts. Uh, so I cannot put those in my silver one. So they were different than the other ones that you saw, okay, that had the, show it to you. The white dot. Okay, so again, there is a difference between them. So they're not the same. However, this is still a piece of brass. This is connected with brass. Uh, in order to get that out, I have to just take the screws out. Okay, and I would just untake or take the screws out of there. Uh, hit the plastic away, and that is all brass. Okay, and these two little pieces are copper. Okay, so there is copper still in there. Uh, very easy to do, just breaking it off with a hammer. Okay. Um, and as you can see, I'm just going to take a pair of pliers and I would... Oh, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. On the brass, the copper one, there are actually silver contacts right there. Okay, so I just had to hit that with a hammer to expose it. So there you go. Sometimes... You know, it just, uh, you never know what you see. <laughs> so this actually was underneath. It was just hidden. And again, good thing that I didn't throw those away. So these are actually silver contacts. All right. And there are two of them. So the silver will be hiding underneath here. So I have to still take that one off. Okay. So as you can see, there is the only waste on this toaster is this plastic platform, okay? So I can leave it on um, because as I said, this the rest of this is going to be steel, okay? If I put a magnet to it, it sticks, okay? I still need to get this silver contact off. So there were three groups of silver contacts on here. There is brass. There is two transformers that are gonna go into my transformer bin. There is some lower grade wire there is some more metal 
and there is the appliance cord, okay? So nearly 99% of this toaster, I've been able to divert away from the landfill. Hope you thought this video was informative. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I'll see you on the next video. Tin Man out.